How's it going? Harvesting a barrel of worms today for a lady on free cycle who wanted some. I think it's a lady. Um, so we're just going through a barrel. It's just one of these large black composting barrels. It's Kira doing some schoolwork there. Um, it was a composting system, tumbler system we made up and um, it didn't do too well so we turned it into worm barrels just basically by adding a couple of bags of horse manure. And I'll just show you what it's turned out like. It's turned out really, really well. So these castings, just leave some. These castings are very, very light, um, broken down really, really well. There's not much actual lumps of horse manure. Those people who know what horse manure looks like, these guys have actually broken it all down. So what we're getting though, the disappointing thing is, only getting a few little worms. So uh, to see the glary, really, really small ones. Heaps of egg cocoons, let's put them in the bowl. Heaps of egg cocoons, um, which are these little things here. Let's try and clean it off so you can see it. This one looks like a spent one. Heaps of these little egg cocoons. So they're all through there, spent ones, and there's one or two live ones. I think that one's a spent one. Well, that's what we got. Here in there. All going through the um, shredded bills in there, the wet bills. So let's cover them up. So out of that um, 60 litre container that was half full, we got two and a half of these. So these are about a 15 litre um, pail. Um, out of the blue barrel where I filled this last week, with adult big size worms, I got one and a half of these. So there's nothing wrong with the quality of castings. Oh, just found another worm. He can go in. Another two. There's nothing wrong with the quality of castings. These castings are awesome. They've broken, the worms have broken down the manure really, really well. I can't really complain at all. So my theory is I left it too long. I should have probably done this at the start of winter because I think a lot of the adults have gone to ground under the pavers. Uh, I had a bit of a look there before and I actually found quite a few shriveled worms. So the earth under the pavers is very dry. So I have a feeling, um, yeah, I've just gone about it the wrong way. I went down the back and I grabbed a about a bucket and a quarter of the castings from the um, blue farm. Um, and just to show you what we've got, we've probably doubled the amount of worms so, still not a great deal, still not happy with that, it's probably not enough to set up a farm, so I'm going to go and grab some out of the black farm, because I don't want to take too many from the blue bucket down the back, the blue farm. Um, I'd like that one to stay there, uh, working through the scraps from the yard, and I really don't want to do the other bl black barrel, because I know they're only going to be smaller worms, but I know the um, black farm, uh, the proper worm farm, um, three-tiered one. It's been fed fairly regularly even through winter so there will be some decent worms in there. So I'm going to shoot off now and grab some of them and I'll sort through them. I'll show you how many worms we get from them. Right yeah, so that's how much I've taken out. What's that? Probably about, oh, just under a quarter of the farm and just out here that's what it looks like. So I've already damaged my new tripod, so I'm trying to be careful. So I'll go through here, and I'll just keep filming as I'm picking them out, just to show you how many. We have got quite a nice lot of worms to give away, so not as many as I was hoping for, but unfortunately I need to keep some back for the um, bathtub bed. So we'll pop them in there and we'll email this person tonight and they can come and pick up their squirmers tomorrow. So just to run through again, this is from a 60 litre um, worm farm barrel. Um, that was poorly maintained and as a result great castings, but very few worms about uh, Probably about 
17 litres, 17 to um, 18 litres of worm cast from the blue barrel in the backyard. And then probably about, oh, five litres of worm cast from the black farm. Which I think actually makes up the bulk of the worms here. So the black farm is actually most of the worms for that, or actually all the rest of the worms for that, are earmarked for the bathtub bed. Because I really do, do need um, a fair few worms to feed these jade perch. So, so that's pretty much all it. I'll show you the rest of the, um, the, the black farm when I harvest it. Just if anyone's curious, I'll put a clip on and see, show you how many worms we get out of that. That'll probably be an all day effort. A very low lorikeet. Anyway, I'll put the lid on these guys and they've got enough food in there for at least two or three days. So, close them up and give them a bit of privacy and go wash up. Any questions, comments, suggestions, leave them in the comment section below as always. And I hope you have an excellent one. Take it easy.